Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. On this gorgeous Saturday, it's really pretty outside. There's not a cloud in the sky. Oh, there's clouds, but. Yesterday was really warm, it was like 70 degrees, and it was Friday, and guess what I did? I stayed home. Um, but today is Saturday, obviously I just said that, and there's a Hawks game today, and they're playing the Warriors, so of course I'm pulling up. Don't know who I'm rooting for just yet, or what I'm wearing, or exactly who I'm going with. But uh, that's neither here nor there, it's not till later. Um, right now I'm about to cook some breakfast and your girl went grocery shopping. I ain't been grocery shopping in like maybe a month or two or a month and a half or so. Cause I just be going to Publix for like quick stuff for Zah. I spent 300 on, but I got some pretty good stuff so I'm not too mad. I did not buy any chopped fruit. I told y'all, y'all thought I was playing. I'm gonna be cutting apples for Zara's lunch. But for breakfast today, I wanted to make her a nice breakfast so I got some salt guy. She loves fresh salmon. I'm gonna do a little bacon, a little avocado, a little egg, a little side of hash. I can't do it too big because she doesn't eat big breakfasts. Breakfasts, you know what I mean? She don't eat big breakfasts, um, even if she does like it. Like, she's not really a breakfast person. Um, and I'm not that hungry either. But after that, I have to do her hair. She's been begging me to do her hair for two weeks now. You guys remember when she had those twists, which I didn't think she was really gonna like. She asked me to do her hair like that. And then when I did it, I was like, I'm thinking she's gonna think it's gonna turn out like the Instagram girlies, like that had the long curly hair and you twist it and the hair stopped right here. And hers is really short, so I didn't think she was gonna like it, but baby, she's asking for it again. So that's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna do it as soon as we eat breakfast. She may or may not go to my sister's while I'm at the game. She kind of mentioned that she wanted to be home alone with all this new food. And I'm like, baby, <laughs> what is this food gotta do with you? Like, what do you think you're about to just come downstairs and have a Bart Simpson moment? And like eat us out of house and home just cause we finally got some food in the refrigerator? Ma'am. Absolutely not. So I might have to kick her out because I don't trust her now. And uh, I'm excited to get out the house. I had a very long week. A lot of y'all, y'all. if y'all fresh off last vlog, y'all know I had a long weekend. It didn't stop, okay? I had a long week as well. I might share a little bit with y'all because this is a safe space, but let me get through today and uh, we'll see. All right, so normally Yoshi don't like eggs. Here's her plate. I put eggs on it anyway, and I'm gonna tell you why. Should I ask for is that tomatoes? Is that what? Tomatoes? No, but did you ask for what? Did I ask for tomatoes? I'm trying to be like Karen. Did I ask for tomatoes? What? Well, I will kick you out of my restaurant, Karen. Okay, <sighs> so don't play with me. That's not tomatoes, that's salmon. That's how basic you are to confuse tomatoes with salmon. That smells good. I put eggs on there because yesterday, y'all, she was trying to give me a heart attack. Yesterday, when we was getting the groceries out the car, I specifically with a capital P told her, be careful with that bag because there's eggs inside of it. She already has something in her other hand, so I thought that would tell her, oh, let me not grab the eggs because I don't wanna mess them up. No, she took it upon herself to grab the eggs. Mind you, by this time, I had already walked in the house. So when I come back outside, the eggs are still there. So I'm like, oh, she probably, good for her for having a good, judgment and not grabbing the eggs if she thought she was Did gonna grab them. Hush. So then I, I get the eggs out the car, I get the rest of the groceries out the car, put them on the counter. She leaves me as she normally does to put up all the groceries by myself. And actually no, she hadn't left yet. So I'm like, with the eggs, I'm like, why is this egg, why are these eggs wet? Like what is dripping out of these eggs? Then I open the eggs, I'm like, oh my God, like how did this happen? Like half the eggs are broke and I'm like, this don't make no sense because I put the eggs in a special part of the car for them not to have broken. And I always check my eggs before I buy them. Click, click, they find, click, clack. So she has what I call, it's a, it's a name for it. I know y'all would know it. So put it in the comments if you know it. You know when somebody did something and they can't help but to tell on themselves because they just have a guilty content, conscience? She be having a guilty, guilty conscience. So when I'm like in here in a state of confusion, like, oh my God, like these eggs broke. I'm just irritated, but you know, they broke. She's over in the refrigerator looking at me like this. Then she has a guilty conscience and is like, I dropped the eggs. I'm thinking she's just joking. Cause baby, how, when, where? You didn't say a thing. And I'm like, what do you mean you dropped the eggs? She was like, I dropped them. So you dropped the eggs, put them back in the car. No, 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 that's no, not you, Okay, so how did it happen, Zara? When I took them out of the car, I dropped them right there. No, I took the eggs out of the car. No, I did. So you took the eggs out of the car, dropped them right there, put them on the counter like that never happened. And you think that's funny? It's not funny, that's just what happened. Y'all know how expensive eggs are. And I get the organic uh, free range, 
you know. And it wasn't like one broke, baby. Five, six of them broke. Three of them I had to throw away. Then there's a whole bunch of cracked ones that I tried to salvage. So that's why I made her eat an egg because I'm like, I have to eat these cracked ones. But there's another cracked one right here, here. This one's cracked. This is cracked. I think this is cracked too because I put most of the cracked ones over here. But um, yeah, like, <sighs> I'm happy you told me, but why didn't you tell me when you did it? You had me have an egg dripping all over my feet. I got egg all over my hands because I had no idea the eggs was cracked. I thought I got lucky. It don't matter what you thought. What you should have done was, mom, I dropped eggs. I'm not sure if they broke, but it was an accident. You would have been mad. I would, it was an accident. I'm always mad. Zara, you always do stuff after the fact. You'll do something and then have me get upset and then tell me later. That's all out of sequence of order. If you would have dropped the eggs, I'd be like, Zara, I told you to be careful. Like, what's going on? We could have moved past it. I was mad at the fact that I had egg all over my feet and hands because I had no idea the eggs had been through a traumatic experience. That's why I was mad. And then I was madder that you didn't tell me. And I was madder that I lost half my eggs. But accidents happen. Am I the best person at like being like, oh baby, it was such an accident. I'm, you know, it's okay. I'm not the best at that, but I'm not gonna get as mad as I would if you didn't tell me in the first place, you feel me? Anyways, I'm about to make mine. It's gonna look similar to hers, except I'm doing an over medium egg and uh, it's gonna be better, period. Okay, y'all, it's been a couple of hours. I'm dressed. I had somebody pick out this outfit for me and I don't really know. Let me let me show you guys in the long mirror. I never really wear pleather pants and I bought these a couple months ago, but I've never had an outfit that I really liked it with. But I wanted to wear some tennis shoes. So I put on these shoes, these pants, and I have a crop in this jacket on. And I got fashion tips for somebody from somebody who like oh. does stuff that I wouldn't normally do. Oh. Your mama. Why are you over here? You ain't even got no pants on, bro. Them hoochie it. daddy shorts. Them hoochie daddy shorts. Get away from me, Zara. Get away from, get away from me, Zara. Anyways, let me you done messed up my whole concentration. I got halfway done her hair. Didn't finish, That's obviously. Sure don't. I have to leave right now. I'm meeting your Uncle Brandon downtown and I was supposed to leave like 15 minutes ago. So I will be back later tonight and I will finish your hair in the morning. Did you say you lay out stuff for the pizza? I am. I don't know who I'm rooting for yet still because the Hawks been trying to win. I'm like, wow, I called you out. Now all of a sudden you want to start winning? That's crazy. Oh, speaking of winning, not speaking of winning, but this actually has nothing to do with anything. My hair. So I had got my hair done Wednesday, right? And you know, I told you I was reaching Bobbiana Lentz or whatever. So when she first did it, I liked it, but I was like, I need some volume. So I added a couple clippings to it to make it have a little more of that that bounce to it so the clippings work but they're not those like seamless fusion clippings they're really thick and you know this, these aren't the type of clippings your man can touch your head with because he'd be like wow concussion much like no babe that's my clipping so i'm gonna get eventually the um seamless fusion clippings because i like my shit to have some volume you know what i'm saying I'll show you what it looks like without when I take them out, but it don't look as this vol voluminous. Yeah, you didn't think I knew that word, voluminous, baby. All right, so I'm out. I'm about to get uh, Yoshi situated before I leave. I'll see y'all in a bit. Good morning. It's 11.30, and guess how I was woken up? Well, this is how I was woken up. I actually was on the phone for a very long time this morning. But that's how Yoshi hit me up this morning. Did she say good morning now? She said, mom, breakfast. As if she's Macaulay Culkin or something. Like, don't summon me to make breakfast. Like, I don't know. She really is confused about her life. Like, I, I can only imagine telling my mom, waking up in the morning and be like, mom, breakfast. Like, who are you talking to? You know, I'm, I'm making it. I, I came right down and I came right down and I started making breakfast. Anyways, the Hawks won last night, y'all. And if you remember my last vlog when I said I root for winners, Hawks are my team ever since I moved to Atlanta. And I told y'all I was thinking about canceling my season tickets because they were sucking and I meant that. But we won the last three games in a row, baby. So go Hawks. I had to cheer against Curry last night. I decided I'm not having a Super Bowl party. Um, just too much going on in my group of friends. Uh, 
situation. So I'll probably find somewhere to watch. I only have two weeks left before my surgery and the countdown begins. 10 hours later, we just watched Good Bur Burger. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order one and two? And in that amount of time, two hours, two and a half hours, I was able to finish Zara's hair. Oh, I'm tired, it's not even eight o'clock yet, but it feels super late. And this is very random, but I also just seen a commercial that Red Lobster has salt and vinegar fried shrimp. Why nobody told me this? Salt and vinegar fried shrimp? Who was the genius that thought of that? The way I'm going to scurry to Red Lobster is insane. Like, first in line, sign me up. How you feeling, kid? I hope you're not hungry, I don't feel like cooking. Do you really need dinner? Is it like a requirement? Is it like a need? Is it like a, oh, I'm so starving type of situation? Yeah, just making some mac and cheese. No, that's snack food. You're not eating that. How is that not food? Snack food, that's for like after school stuff. You don't eat snack food for dinner. I'd rather you eat nothing. I'm I just have kidding. Pizza. Awesome! Look at you finding solutions! I love to see it! I didn't really like it. Why not? It was just cheese. It was so sweet. Sweet. The last pizza with the mushrooms on it was sweet. Listen, we do not slander private selection in this house, okay? We do not. Private selection don't sell nothing that's not good. So don't even slander private selection, baby. The pizza was good. You just was tripping. Maybe your breath stunk and it was changing the flavor up a bit. Try it again today and see if you have different results. That was kind of mean. I didn't even have to go there with you, my bad. I'm not gonna hit you. I'm just cheering. Anyways, I'm about to watch a little TV. I have one more show to watch. I'm kind of hungry too. Maybe you should make us some popcorn. Wait, you gotta go. You gotta go to bed. No. Who was you talking to, Macaulay? Like, I don't know what is going on with you. Like, never. I'm the alpha. I'm the leader. I'm the. I'm sorry. Exactly. Something's wrong with you, and baby. I need. I need you to fix it. All right. As I was saying, I don't even remember now. Um. Yeah. TV, it's eight o'clock, snack, I'm gonna have a snack, maybe a salad, you know, that's my thing. <laughs> it's so crazy how you think just because we look alike that we're the same. We are not the same, baby. We are not. I'm just like you, just like you. You're just like me, you're just like me. And you take responsibility. You better get that little show. <laughs> If she clapped this butt one more time in my presence, I'm going to hurt her. Nothing about that, that. nothing about that little tush doing anything is gonna be ever be funny to me. Stop playing with me. <laughs> yeah, I look sleepy. I know I do. Um, y'all remember I told you I was taking those pills, right? The estradiol pills, estrogen pills. I took them for a week. You wanna know how long it took for uh, the purge to come back? Four days. That's the, all, that's the break I got, I got a four day break. So I've been dizzy all day, cause all night I was up like every 30 minutes. I've been tired all day. Pure hell, when I tell you I cannot wait to February 20th. February 20th? Yes, did I tell you I was getting surgery? I probably didn't, you probably just was listening to my conversation. Yeah, did I? Yeah, I didn't. It's so crazy. Yeah, I can't wait. Pure hell. I'm gonna get my life back soon, y'all. I'm gonna get my life back. I'm gonna get off birth control. For real? Yes, I'm not taking nothing made by Big Pharma. No, this is from the squirt, the oil from your hair. Oh. Go ahead and shake your dress, baby. Shake your dress, okay, baby. Dress. Shake them dress, baby. Shake them dress, baby. How come you did it like this? Did you like what? It looks, you did it different. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What's different? Come show me. It's a different part. Part of it. I was going cross-eyed and I was barely conscious, girl. I only lost 30% of my blood supply today. Dang. Have some compassion. Have some grace. I think you look very cute. I'm just saying you did it different. I'm just saying you're welcome. How about that? Thank you, Books. Don't call me Booski, please. I'm not your friend. I have Books. Either way. It's oh. mom. It's mom. It's mom. I worked hard for that. It's mom. Every time. Mom. Books. Mommy. Books. Ma. Mama. All those are acceptable. Thank you. 
Put some respect on my name. You guys know she likes to air talk to herself. Why did you say you like to air talk to yourself, Zara? Because I like to see what I look like talking. So she can see what she looks like talking. That's my child, y'all. She's special in all kinds of ways. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that's my night. Tomorrow, I need to research some stuff for my birthday. Hopefully, I wake up with some energy because this ain't it right now. So it's gonna be an early night. Good night, y'all. See ya manana. Oh, you know what? I meant to tell y'all, y'all gonna be proud of me. Like, what, Ellery? You actually did what you said you was gonna do. Kudos to you, boo. New Year's resolutions, hello, how are you? See this app right here? Duolingo, you know about it. I'm taking Spanish. I mean, I'm not doing very well so far. Like, if I don't do it for like a day, I'd be forgetting all the words all over again. So I think, my memory being that I'm about to be 38. <laughs> Don't look at though, baby. <laughs> my memory is fading because it's not being able to retain information. I should be worried about that, but like I said, with this new lifestyle journey that I'm gonna do after the surgery, no medicine, all healthy eating, all clean eating, only supplements, baby. My body is a temple, vitamins, fruit. Y'all know I don't eat fruit. I'ma eat fruit. Maybe some meditation, some exercising. I'ma be a new woman, baby. So I'm not even worried about my memory right now, but I am taking Spanish. And I will know at least five new words by April, okay? So yeah, that's that. Thank you. I heard some of you guys saying, good job, girl. So thank you. <laughs> All right, good night. <laughs> good morning, y'all. I thought I was gonna have my first productive Monday. No. I'm so tired, I went to sleep. And you normally, like normal Ellery, if I go to sleep after I drop Yosha off, I'll wake up naturally at like 9, 30, 10. My phone woke me up at 10. And I was like, dang, how did I not wake up already? But I woke up like this, like I could barely open my eyes. So I just lay back down and then didn't wake up again till 12. I feel very much like I did the other week. Useless. 15 more days. I've been wanting to like cook, I bought like Remember that crab meat? I don't know if I showed y'all what I got from the grocery store, but I got some crab meat, some shrimp. I want to make like this sun-dried tomato alfredo seafood, just like throw down, but I feel so uncomfortable. So it's gonna be a public sandwich night. I don't see me feeling any better till February 20th, so I'm just gonna try my best to wait it out. I'll probably take that week off because I won't be able to be too mobile since I'm gonna have like a whole incision. So goal is to try to do as much as I can before then, but <laughs> devil is busy. I'm still gonna try though. <sighs> Everything's gonna be all right. I'm picking up Zara right now. I only have her until Thursday. Uh, I think I'm going to, remember I was talking about that red lobster, I forgot about it. I think I'm gonna try to pick up Cali tomorrow after Yoshi gets out of practice and take them both to Red Lobster because I haven't seen Cali in a little bit and you guys know I get the scratches when I don't see my nieces so I'll see if I can take both but if I can only get Cali I'll get Cali. I'm gonna get my nails done this week. I was gonna not do nothing for Valentine's Day as far as my nails were concerned but I'm thinking if I do a red and white it'll like you know you know. This little girl is walking so slow to this car. What's up baby girl? I hate when you get in a car like that. Don't call me baby girl. Don't call me Booski. Don't call me nothing but mom. I You're work so for mom. Call me mom. What did you work? Wait, no, not like that. I've been mean, like, how did you work for the title? Well, did I not get cut open so you could live? I mean, did I not go through an excruciating labor? But that I'll name? never forget about. Did I not carry you for nine months? Do I not take care of you? Are you not well taken care how about of? Mama, mama. Ma Mookie, Mookie. Leave me alone, Zara. <sighs> Bruh, if I had a camera in this car at all times, like, the things that come out of this child's mouth is just, I should be recorded 24-7. I, I really want a camera that can sit on my, I don't know if it'll sit on the Tesla windshield, but on a dash or something, because I don't like recording on my phone, so I wanted something like, like a whole master camera. But anyways, in the midst of this five to 10 minute ride home, this child has told me that she wants to have a baby by 25. Mind you, this is the same kid that said she didn't want to have kids. I don't even know why. I never said that. Yes, you did. You, you said, I don't want to have kids. Look at Callie. Oh, my God. No, this that was be... a joke. I said Callie was making me regret thinking I wanted to have three kids. Zara, you are 12 years old, bro. What the heck? Who's thinking about kids at 12 years old? Me. So she said the reason for that is because she likes our age difference. 
whatever the hell that means. Then she starts rapping line. I asked you if you knew about the Megan and Nikki beef. And then I started talking, singing the beat, the, the diss tracks. Why do you know the diss tracks? Like, they've been all over TikTok. So you just learn the words from this. Just... Don't be mad at Megan. These be mad at Megan's lot. How you your mama husband when your mama talk? And those are. <laughs> those are two different songs, bro. I know, but those were the diss tracks. Those are your favorite lines from each song. That's all I remember. Girl, then she starts saying why she don't like who, and I'm just like, girl, this watch something educational, bro. You should not, you should not know lines to diss tracks. Why? Because it's irrelevant to your 12 year old life, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Don't make it treat you better than he can, because then he girl like you deserves a. Gentleman, tell me why we wasted time and all these wasted crimes when you could be with me instead. I know why you treat you better, better than he can. And then when I was asked, I was telling her for winter break this coming up, she's gonna be with her dad most of the time because that's the week I have my surgery. And I'm like, make sure you bring something productive to uh, your dad's house. Don't you have New Year's resolutions you could be working on? She gonna say, what did you, what did you say? You I said, um, most of the resolutions you have to do. Most of the, but you only named one resolution that I had to do, which is you get your glasses. Well, your yeah, other yeah. resolution was to raise your standards. What does no, that even mean? No, and my other one, another one was get my head dressed, if I already got that. Okay, so. what does raise your standards mean? Like, don't settle for bull crap. Cause y'all be playing with me. Y'all be Who playing is, games with me. Who is y'all? All, all y'all. <laughs> like raising a teenager, bro. Like, I feel like this is not, I'm not built for this. Cause who is you talking about? Oh y'all. Are you talking about friends? You think you're, the, you're not even a fart. I, I keep going hard. All right, let's see. Okay, I gotta go. Zara's in the shower. She said she's not that hungry, so I'm not gonna make my, what is gonna be delicious pasta. I already know it's gonna be good. Like I just, I just know. So I wanna make it on a day that she's gonna be hungry. I haven't ate my ass to half the sandwich because I had two, cup, two cups of coffee this morning and breakfast. So I wasn't hungry when I got home, but I'm hungry now. It's only 7.23, so maybe we'll play a little card game or something before she goes to bed. I'm still trying to put in that QT with her before. So I was planning on doing something with her for winter break, but I really didn't realize until today that my surgery is that week. I did get her a Valentine's Day present. Cause I always get her something from that Melinda Maria. Melinda Maria, Melinda Maria. Jewelry place, that's where she got her emerald last year and her Taurus dog tag. My mom used to always do something for, not always, like every now and then, just like with Christmas. Some years it was Kwanzaa, some years we got Christmas. So she used to do that with Valentine's Day. Like sometimes she would get us something, sometimes not, but I wanna get in the tradition of getting her something every Valentine's Day. So that's why I got her something. But um, she has practice that day. This teacher, she made a practice on Valentine's Day until seven o'clock. Like lady, what if I was married? Like how, who's picking the kid up at seven o'clock at practice on Valentine's Day and I'm out with my husband having dinner? Like that is so inconsiderate. Like I cannot wait till this class is over. So that's why I don't really know what I'm doing because I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to do anything. So we'll see though. I don't really care either way. All right, Zai ate a grilled cheese, one of her top five things, favorite things to eat. Right? Pasta, yeah. grilled cheese, corn. Skirt. What? First of all. Why'd you make that face? Pasta. Oysters. Okay, we haven't had oysters in like how long? Why would that be at the top of my head? Oysters. You regularly eat pasta. Oysters. Grilled cheese. Oysters. Mexican corn. Oysters. oysters, okay. I love oysters. Fried or raw. I'll eat them. I hate how we get off topic, but like, Oysters. my point was, Oysters. it was in your top five. Fry Wasn't that my point? Anyway, hi. Ah! She wasn't hungry enough for me to cook dinner. I ate my sandwich, now I'm nice and full. I got her 
Something I never do, because I don't like having sugar in the house. Oh, speaking of sugar, I need to look at my dessert. Oh, nope, that's the point. Sit down. Excuse me? So, for dessert, when I went to go to the grocery store the other day, private selection, you guys know, had some mango popsicles Ooh. and some macaroons. Ooh. So I said, this isn't for me, but I can stop depriving my child so much and have her have a little bit of a childhood and have a little dessert after dinner. But after now dinner. she's gonna have to play for her dessert. What? If she wins this quick hey. fire, we're gonna play a, play a fire round. What's that mean? Meaning like, you have to put it out quick. And if you put out the wrong card, you disqualify. What? It's, it's, it's called, what's it called? Fire, shoot, short, short fire. No, I did that with Monopoly and I hated it. All right, that's the whole point. Can you get your clappers out the camera? Turn this way. How many cards we get, seven? So if you win, you get dessert. Oh, yeah, you win. If I win, nothing. Tomorrow before bed, no. you have to massage my feet. Ew! They had that. Please, I used to have to massage my mama feet, my auntie feet, my everybody feet back in the dizzy. And then they used to always be like, I can get three dollars. I ain't never get money. Girl, I ain't never get no money. <laughs> Three dollars per toe. Deal or no deal? Oh, bye. You shouldn't. I don't even know why you keep trying to hustle me out of everything, out of all the stuff I do for you. And these cards. These are wish cards. The colors are very like aesthetic. I'm trying to cheat. They're hard really to tell because I'm used to like bright, bold colors, and these are all like maroon. Oh. All right. Go. You're not going fast enough. What are we stacking now? Yeah. Ooh, you be cheating. You did not say we were stacking. I always stack, my bad. And you only pull one card, so. I know. I keep getting the same color. Did you pull one? Yeah. Stop cheating. <laughs> All right, colors, red. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> draw two. I <laughs> know you. <laughs> I said, we ain't doing them type of stacking, bruh. Says who? You cheating. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <gasps> what? I got, look at all these cards I got. <laughs> you cheating, bruh. <sighs> oh, oh, I got something for you. Reverse it back to me and draw four. Wait, what? <laughs> no, you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. That's the face of a loser, 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 loser. Wow, he just. I thought you said two other. <laughs> wow. Uh, to be honest, I'm totally shocked. I'm not. All right, well, let's see what you're gonna choose. <laughs> well, I have that divorce court stuck face from that mean, that black lady, and she black. That's, that's what just happened to me now. Cause I totally thought them draw, that draw four was gonna take her out. But she stacked the draw two on top of it. As soon as I paid five dollars. I'm not paying you to do anything. Fine, keep your moly feet. You're rude, you should wanna <laughs> massage my feet after all I do. She chose the ice cream, which lets me know that she really likes these. This is her third one. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Everybody knows by now. Oh, this isn't even private selection. Simply organic. How are you talking about the Paletas. Mango passion fruit made with real fruit. Anyways, well, she that went by me, faster than I thought. Up. What? She, what? She like me like a Zara, that is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> she be thinking I'd be playing with her, but then when I when I decided she ends up on Dr. Phil and I send her to boot camp, we're gonna see how funny it is. Cause what you're not finna be is them girls that I went to high school with. If you're raised right. You don't necessarily, necessarily gotta be guarded by your parents. Like my mom was a correctional officer when I was in high school. In junior high school, she was barely ever home because she used to be having to work the night shift, sleep all day and vice versa. And then sometimes she would have lockdowns where she didn't come home at all. And we didn't have a lot of supervision a lot of the time. Yeah, I had an older sister, but when I was in junior high school, she was in high school. She was a high school kid, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes my auntie would come over and stay with us. But for the most part, we were home alone a lot and we could have been been some some bad kids. We could have been in these streets. We could have been doing strange things. We could have really took advantage of the fact that our parents weren't there a lot, but we were raised right. Oh, why are you me? So I'm hoping that I'm raising you right yeah. so that you choose a path of righteousness. 
Drop by. You feel me? Also, loser cleans up. It's so crazy how this was my idea and you're just <laughs> adding on rules, like, and I'm not a loser. Also, now I get to stay up till 12 o'clock. Girl, bye. <laughs> Macaulay, that's, I'm a, I'm a, your name is not Yoshi no more. I'm changing your Instagram name to M Macaulay Shikoki. <laughs> Macaulay, Macaulay Shikokisha. Cause you be acting real. I don't know who you thought your mama was, but she's very much not the one or the two. Anyways, I thought tomorrow, like I said earlier, we were gonna get Callie, baby, but I just checked my sister's schedule and I think her husband has a basketball game he has to coach and she never misses the game and she always wants to take the kids. So. Selfish. Yeah, that's selfish. Like, they're my kids too. And I should be able to keep them. But I know she's not gonna let me, so. I guess Tuesday, it's just me and you, kid. Like it always should be. Like it always should be. Get off of me. Why would you want that for me? I'm just kidding. You're not. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to bed. Even though I slept literally all day today, I'm hoping. I don't know what I'm hoping, because I'm not on any medicine, so I'm just gonna have to deal with what I'm dealing with. But I'm I'm just hoping I get a good night's sleep so that even if I am tired in the morning, I can just have a cup of coffee and get through a work day as best as I can. All right, your, your bedtime is not extended, so it is. 30 minutes? No. What time is it right now? Oh, it's only 8.44. You need to be in the bed by nine o'clock. And that timer needs to be off in 30 minutes. Wait, 30 minutes? What happened 10 o'clock? Your bedtime has never been 10 o'clock. You just be No, up. no, you said TV off by 10 o'clock. No, that's on dessert. I don't care what I said, when I said, what I said. What am I saying right now? So you're admitting that you did say that. It's about to be right now. That's what it's about to be. If you keep challenging me, it's gonna be right now. No, no TV at all. Like, don't get it twisted. What? Next weekend, she will be with her daddy. Can you smack a little bit louder for the people in, in Africa that, that watch my channel so they can really get an idea like they're right here with us? My God. Speaking of Africa, I really wanna go. So so if y'all know the plug, they can get me out to Africa uh, on a low, because I am trying to go first class. I don't really wanna sign up for sugardaddy.com. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Thought you were on your phone. I wasn't talking to you, so why'd you say excuse me? Well, that's unfortunate. Let me know in the comments. For you? Ah! How I can get a hook up on an African ticket. I'm not opposed to the African man. <sighs> Oof, <sighs> I'm tired. All right. I will see y'all next week. Check out Yoshi tomorrow. And until next time, love ya. Can you get your clappers out the camera? Get your camera off my clappers. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave that on there too. Oh, no. Yes, I am. Good night, y'all. <laughs>